In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit the text and the fonts on a Canva image. We'll start with some basic stuff and then we'll get onto some more advanced stuff such as what do you do if you just want to edit one letter within a word. I'll also share some useful links to Canva's own resources in the description. So to demonstrate this, we've got one of Canva's YouTube thumbnail templates open up and you can see as you hover any piece of text, a purple container highlights the piece of text in question and you want to make sure that you click on the right one to edit it. So we'll start off with see the, we'll click, then we'll get these three dots which we can click on once and this is where you can copy, paste, duplicate and delete at a basic level. Let's click off. Let's click back on and you will see that this top menu changes and you can increase the font size or decrease the font size by clicking either of these sections. So let's increase the font size a little bit and you can see that it increases dynamically and we can do the same. Or we can just delete this number and we can type in any number we want so we can make it much bigger. And then if you want to drag it across and drag it across and then drag it up, you can position the text where you want. You've got this section here, the alignment. You can click on this and align it to the left, or you can align it to the right, or you can center it. It's entirely up to you. Now, if you click on effects, this brings up this styles tab here, and you can go through and you can play around and see what one you like. So we can add a shadow, we can add a lift, or we could come down here and we could add an outline, or make it hollow, it's entirely up to you. Or you can add a background. So by clicking on this, you can see the background color changes. If we don't like black, we scroll down, we click on color, and we choose a color from the palette that we want to use. So maybe we could click and choose a yellow. And if at any time you make a mistake and you wanna go back, you can just click on the undo and it will gradually take you back to the previous version. And you can also redo it and go back here. You can also, if you want to, make the text curved and click on it once more or come back to none and it will go back to the original state. And again, we'll click on this and we'll just go back a few times and we'll leave it as it is. Now, this particular piece of text we'll play around with next. And let's say that we want to highlight the S in sunrise. Unfortunately, there's no simple way of doing it. We're gonna have to first duplicate this. So to make this easier, I'm gonna first get rid of Seether. So I'll click the trash can. I'll click on sunrise, the three dots, and then I will duplicate it and I will drag one off. Now what I'll do is I'll click on this, click on it again, and then I'll highlight everything here and hit delete on my computer. So now I've just got the S. And then here, I'm gonna click inside, click again and delete the S. Now what I can do is I can drag this S and position it to the left of the word. Then I can double click on this and I could change the text color. So I could make this yellow, make this black. I could make this, you know, much bigger, make it a big capital one. I could click outside and then drag it across wherever I want to do it. I can click on the font. The top one will be the font in question, the one that's being used right now. If you scroll down, you'll see recommended fonts. You'll see ones that you have recently used. So yours are gonna be different to mine depending on the ones that you've recently used. And eventually you'll scroll down and just go through each font alphabetically. And if you know the name of a font that you like, you can type it in here. And if it's there, it will appear. So if I was to type in M-O-N and I could come down here and choose Montserrat and that's going to change the font. We can also make the font bold, we can italicize it, etc. All the kind of basic stuff that you would normally do in any editor. And again, we can go back, go back again, go back again, go back again, and we're back to the original font. So you can play around with all of these different fonts until you get used to the editor. It's quite simple. Then we can click on text styles. So we could go to subheading and it makes it smaller. Heading will make it bigger body will make it tiny. So again, nice and simple thing that you can play around with right there. If you want to add an extra piece of text here, so something brand new, you can click on T for text. And you've got these different default styles and they can all be edited. So you've got these colorful ones here that you could potentially add. There are lots of these. Now, if you see this pro sign here, that means you do need a paid subscription. So let's use one of the default ones. Let's click on this add a heading. So we're gonna then click outside and then hover over and drag it up here. Then we'll put, uh, let's put sunset. And then what we'll do is we'll highlight everything. We will change the color. We'll make it a bit of a darker brown. 
we'll change the font, we'll make it a heading first of all, we'll then click up here, we'll get rid of this, so we'll delete that, we'll delete the S, we'll kind of bring this down, we'll change the colouring again so it can be seen a bit better, we'll make it a white. I just advocate playing around with it and getting used to it. A few other things that we can do, we have these three dots up here, so we can click on this and we can click on this section here, which is going to change the transparency. And as we drag this across, you can see that it changes the transparency, so it's invisible, it's full on, or we could, you know, change it a little bit so that it you know, looks how we want it to look. It's entirely up to you. We can click off and that's that. Once you're ready, you can delete this stock piece of text and you can name it what you want. And then what you'll do is you will click on share, you will then click on download and you can choose the file type. They've got a PNG or a JPEG. JPEG files tend to be much um, smaller than PNG files. So if you want to put it on your WordPress website eventually, I'd recommend downloading it to a JPEG and then ideally converting it to a WebP using a different tool. But you've got all of these different things that you could potentially do depending on what it is you want to do. You can share it on social media if you want to, but I prefer to download it and do all that stuff manually. So hopefully that's given you a basic understanding of how to play around with the text and the fonts. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Take care.